18,000 runners crossed the finish line here at the Detroit Free Press Marathon. Each runner saying a different reason is powering them across. With the sound of an air horn and some encouragement along the way, thousands pushed their way through the Detroit Free Press course. And we're so excited to be back to international racing after a two year absence. We've got beautiful weather today. We've got over 18,000 runners out there right now. This year, the marathon included a new route, runners passing through Indian Village, Eastern Market, and the Theater District. It was hard. It hurt so much more than I think I was, like, ready for. Sydney DeVore of Firmdale, the first woman to cross the finish line for the half marathon. And just a few minutes ahead of her, Morsi Ryan running to celebrate the end of his residency. I feel great. I can finally relax a little bit, stop running and training so hard. Just enjoy life a little more. The big $6,000 prize going to a now two-time winner. Well, the champion of the Detroit Free Press International Marathon, Ryan Corby! Metro Detroit native Ryan Corby, who says it was his family that helped him power through those hard miles. You know, you just, you got to dig tough and ignore the pain. Um, pain is temporary. Um, the effect of the result like this is lasting forever, so... Um, yeah, my family gets me through a lot of those tough moments. Mary Beasley took first place for the women's full marathon. The race her first time in Detroit. You know, I've been training for marathon for a long time, so, you know, it's just the people out there, you know, you want other people to look at you, you know, out there to make them feel like, okay, you can do it. And while every runner looked to different reasons to push themselves across the finish, supporters. Oh my God, I'm going to be so excited! Like Linda Rader, were there every step of the way. Today, her son ran for his aunt, who's battling brain cancer. I started training about a month and a half ago, and mom said, I'm getting a t-shirt, I'm coming down, I'm so proud of you. I love it. In Detroit, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News.